A very good morning, Minister uh, Lawrence Wong, Minister for Education, my fellow mayors, uh, Mr. Liz Huang, Mr. Desmond Chu, Mr. Lex Yam, and also Mr. Mohammad Famin Alimand, and also our wonderful partners, Mr. Ong Ziqing, CEO of Skills Future Singapore, Mr. Gilbert Tan, CEO of Employment and Employability Institute, we call E2I, and Mr. Lim Hock Yu, CED of People's Association, and distinguished guests, all our district councillors, and all our Skills Future Advice partners. A lot of you are in uh, the Polytechnic, the IHLs, and also IMDA, NTUC as well, and also friends of the media. Very, very good morning. Thank you for spending your Friday morning with us uh, at this virtual event. And um, three years ago, in 2017, the five CDCs were given the mandate to champion skills future advice to help Singaporeans better understand the national skills future initiatives beyond just the skills future credit. Remember three years ago when we talked about skills future credit, a lot of Singaporeans thought it's only about the $500 credit, but actually skills future is much more than that. And together with SSG, E2I, the five CDCs implemented the skills future advice program to raise awareness on the importance of career and skills planning, provide basic advisory to the community, and encourage adoption of skills future among Singaporeans. It also aims to encourage a culture of lifelong learning and instill a sense of ownership in all people with regards to their own career and also skills development. And like the mission of CDC, and PM actually shared the mission of CDC two years ago when he uh, witnessed the swearing in of the five mayors, the ABC mission. Actually, skills future advice also have very similar aims. Why do I say so? It will A, aggregate. Skills future advice will aggregate the resources of partners and help our residents navigate the learning and training landscape. By working closely with our training partners, we develop and customize the 90 minute skills future advice physical workshop, and now we've moved it to a webinar format, which is a 60 minutes skills future webinar since COVID-19 that caters to different target groups. And um, minister, and also friends, I, I, I think you'll be very heartened to know that the skills future advice workshop and webinar is conducted in four different languages, English, Mandarin, Malay, and Tamil. Now that's the A, aggregate. B is for building. Skills future advice, will build a community of self-directed learners. Through the Skills Future Advice Program, we also enhance the capabilities of our partners. Many of our partners are with us at this virtual event this morning, and also build the capabilities of our SFA participants, who actually will then become our Skills Future Ambassadors to spread the word to their family, to their neighbors, to their friends, to really embrace the journey of lifelong learning. A, B, a is for aggregate, B is for build, C is for connect. Connect the community and channel the resources to support our residents in their journey towards skills upgrading and lifelong learning. Over the past three years, the CDC have been leveraging our network of partners and resources such as our grassroots, community, corporate and also SME partners to engage the community on skills future advice and to organize a skills future roadshow to reach out to our residents in the district. That was before COVID. But now we have also adapted and pivoted to a webinar format. Now, as we continue to battle COVID-19 under the leadership of Minister Lawrence Wong, who's the co-chair of MTF, the CDC are sparing no effort to bring skills future to the community and are fully committed to helping our residents strengthen their capabilities and improve the employability. And on hindsight, the CDC are really very, very uh, grateful to SSG and E2I for partnering us three years ago because then, especially in this time where skills and employment are very critical to future-proving Singaporeans, actually we stand in a good stead to give a further boost to this important focus area. We have been bringing the Skills Future Advice Workshop to the community uh, since October 2017. Like I mentioned earlier, it was a physical workshop um, before COVID-19 and since February this year, we have moved it to a webinar format. And the five CDCs in the last three years have conducted more than 4,300 skills future advice workshop and now webinar, benefiting more than 110,000 participants. And this has surpassed the target uh, that SSG has set for us, which was 80,000 participants. And other than doing 
the workshop, in the last two years, we have also been holding the Skills Future Festival, which is an intense one week learning festival in each of the five districts. And this is a physical festival held in a particular area uh, as a focal point to attract residents uh, in the intense one week learning festival. But because of COVID, we have to adapt and we decided to bring this into a virtual platform. So in August last month, the five mayors launched the Skills Future at CDC 2020, the Future of You virtual event, and it aims to help Singaporeans assess job opportunities, industry insights, as well as career workshops and tips to encourage our residents to effectively adapt and also adopt new skills to embrace the future. Really, it's about future-proving each and every one of us, um, given this global economy uncertainty. And uh, Minister and friends, I think you'll be delighted to know that in the past, our Skills Future Festival, like last year, the physical event attracted 35,000 people. But this year, by moving it online, the week-long event managed to attract more than 257,000 residents. And more than 6,300 residents attended the 50 virtual workshops. And because of the overwhelming uh, response, and many of the residents have said it is very useful, now that we have moved it to a virtual platform, even residents who have missed some of this session, they can go back to the Facebook platform, Skills Future at CDC, and check in on the webinar and on the courses. So learning, at, they can actually learn anytime, anywhere at their fingertips. And because of that, instead of one week, the five mayors have decided to expand the Skills Future at CDC for one full year, all the way to July 2021. Now, the mayors would like to say a big thank you to Minister Lawrence Wong, a big thank you to the MOE team, Skills Future Singapore, E2I, uh, grassroots organization, community and corporate partners for your strong support. And um, the extension of Skills Future Advice, we think it's really coming at a time uh, where Singaporeans need exceptional support in strengthening our employability. And our priority is to help our residents expedite job search opportunities for the job seekers and to ramp up programs and initiatives to meet the growing demand for upskilling and also reskilling. This is a crucial time and hence, we are aggregating the five CDC's efforts in leveraging our combined resources and partnership to arm our residents with wider learning and employment resources, as well as to connect our residents to advice and also career prospects that are critical for securing a better future. And as we do so, we are also building communities of self-directed learners and a learning culture that will position Singapore in a good stead for the long run. And this is why Minister Lawrence Wong and also friends, I hope you are happy to know that the, today's event, the Skills Future Advice MOU signing, is the first initiative that the five mayors are rolling out since we have been, some of us reappointed and some of us newly appointed by Prime Minister two days ago. It is to signal that skills and employment will be one of the key focus area for the mayors and for the CDC for this new term. And the CDCs remain committed to supporting our residents in their learning journey to boost their employability and job prospects. And we hope that more residents will take this opportunity so it could then sell and learn new skills so that they can stay relevant and forge ahead in the future economy to seize the opportunity that open up. On this note, I wish you all a wonderful day ahead. Thank you very much.